Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in. This is going to be for uh, Aquarius for the first half of your December from the 1st to 15th. So uh, this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. You can apply this to any replacement. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of your month. And then we're going to see what the pos, uh, what the outcome and advice are, what else you guys need to know, what you guys need to look out for, work on, apply this to your own situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies i suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me the uh, link for that is in the description box below all right so aquarius tell me about aquarius here Overall energy for Aquarius, what is surrounding Aquarius, what does Aquarius need to know for the first half of their December from the 1st to 15th for Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius here. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Mm, some of you guys could be looking for a new job here while you guys are currently working okay so capricorn taurus virgo libra aquarius gemini here with the page of swords you know it could be a situation where you guys are learning new skills here to apply to the current uh job situation that you're in right now okay um we have the wheel of fortune and the four of pentacles it, it, it could be a situation that your luck is changing here too so with the four of pentacles if you guys were struggling financially here i feel like that's changing here or that your finances are improving here uh, aquarius okay what else do we have here for aquarius we have the king of cups and the knight of swords Libra, aquarius gemini here so one of the things i'm feeling like i feel like you're going for what you want okay you know right now i feel like you're in this like very emotional sensitive energy but i feel like you're trying to remain grounded here too all right uh let's see what else we have here what else do we have here for aquarius what else do we have here for aquarius the knight of pentacles why is the knight of pentacles here we have the five of wands the five, uh, the page of swords and the king of pentacles there's definitely issue go, issues going on with your finances and your work. You could be going through a situation where there is a lot of competition at your workplace, okay? Uh, there's a lot of arguing and fighting. There is an energy of also like, you know, being really competitive competitive and sort of like stepping all over each other here, okay? The uh, Wheel of Fortune here and the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles here and the Sun. One of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, this situation can change because or will change because there's something being revealed here that's hidden something that's deceptive here okay so i feel like it could be a situation that you know you could be like you could be looking for something new and trying to get away from all this okay you know i feel like you're holding on to hope that you could experience you know happiness and bliss here when it comes to your life right now because i do feel like it's a bit kind of chaotic especially in the work department here okay tell me about this uh king of pentacles that's not the king of pentacles king of cups we have the empress libra taurus the knight of swords here and the two of cups wow so um aquarius you could be meeting somebody new here okay when it comes to love and i feel like this is a situation where you know you're being sought after by people okay so people are chasing after you okay you, you could be you could have a couple of options that where someone here is coming towards you you could be meeting these people online okay um so yeah it seems like there is a situation that you're dealing with this could be a new love uh but I, I feel like there is a strong connection with this individual here and i feel like you know you are interested in taking things to the next level okay uh tell me more about aquarius outcome and advice here for aquarius regarding their situations what else does aquarius need to know look out for and work on here for the first half of their december from the first 
to the 15th for Aquarius. What else do we have here for Aquarius here? What else do we have here for Aquarius? We have the Ace of Wands, okay? It seems like there's a passionate new beginning that's happening here for you. We have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces here. Someone here is holding back some information. Whoever this is, you're, you might be dealing with someone here who's incredibly mysterious here, okay? Um, this is someone here who's not really speaking about how they feel about you, but I feel like whoever this is, this new person that's coming towards you, this is an individual that's really highly sexually attracted to you here, uh, Aquarius. So we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Page of Cups. There's definitely someone new here. Someone here is just really, really interested in you. And they feel like, you know, with the, uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, I feel like this could be like a divinely guided thing. You know, I do feel like with the universe is also helping, uh, stepping in to help you out regarding this work situation where I feel like you could be stepping away from this soon here, um, Aquarius, okay? Uh, Knight, of Cup, uh, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Judgment here. Hmm. This could be this could be a situation that someone here is also sneaking back into your life to apologize, to reconcile here with you. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius energy with the Judgment card, but I feel like you know you're just focusing on the new here. Okay, you're just focusing on the blessings that you're receiving from the universe here. Okay, because I feel like a lot of changes are happening in your life for the month of December and going into the new, into the new year. Ace of Wands here and the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King to Queen of Pentacles here. The uh, High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? And the Magician Gemini Virgo. So what? In, so we have the King to the Queen of Pentacles here. This is a true pair. You could be meeting a soulmate here, but right now I just feel like, like I said, you're in this energy of manifesting, really sort of like tapped into your intuition and sort of like focusing on new things here. Yeah, uh, Gemini Virgo here with the Magician. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. We have the Fool Aries energy could also be Aquarius energy. Page of Cups here, and the Nine of Swords. Now, I feel like we have someone here who wants to take a risk or a leap here with you when it comes to this new relationship. But I feel like this person could be stressing out about this. Tell me about this uh, Page of Pentacles here. We have the Justice card, Libra Energy. Tell me about uh, Judgment and the Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, it just seems like you're focusing on the new. So this is the past person that's coming back to speak with you, but I feel like you could be letting this person go because I feel like this person made you feel really alone or that this person could have ghosted you here. There was some sort of betrayal here that you'd ex experience in a toxic situation that you're in and I feel like you're just completely letting that go. I just feel like you're just, folk like I said, I feel like there's an energy of focusing on the blessings that the universe is sending you. All right. So Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.